Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi and today we continue with our topic of discussion and this is on genetics. So today we are going to discuss inheritance of ABO blood groups. Uh, when it comes to the blood groups, uh, you find that uh, we have four blood groups. We have blood group A, we have blood group B, blood group AB, and blood group O. Now, uh, blood group A and B uh, are as a result of the presence of gene A for blood group A and gene B for blood group B. Now, where there is the existence of the gene for blood group A together with the gene for blood group B, we get a blood group AB. We get a blood group AB. And therefore we can say that the gene for blood group A and the gene for blood group B are co-dominant. They are co-dominant. Co-dominant means that they both express themselves if they are to come together. For example, this is the gene for A, this is the gene for B. When they come together, we get blood group AB. <coughs> so we are saying that uh, blood group A is as a result of gene A which is responsible for antigen A. Antigens are written using capital letters. So a person has blood group A because of gene A. And that gene A is the one that causes uh, the presence of antigen A. Then the same applies to blood group B. Is as a result of gene B. Which is responsible. For antigen B. As again repeated, antigens are put in capital letters. Then we have blood group O is as a result of gene O. There is gene O. which is responsible for no antigens. Which is responsible for no antigens. So O means that it's like it's zero, zero antigens. So when the gene O is there, then the blood group is O, and means that there is zero antigens. Now, when gene O, sorry, when gene A and B occur together, we get blood group a, B, due to the presence, due to the presence of antigens A and B. So when there is uh, gene A and B together, uh, we get blood group A, B, which is as a result of antigens A and B. So, or therefore, 
gene A and B are said to be co-dominant, which means equally dominant, which means that they are equally dominant, or both express themselves both express themselves in the trait so codominant or codominance means that a situation whereby we have two genes that are both expressing themselves they are equally dominant it's like they have equal strength so if you have blood group a you have gene a you have blood group b you have gene b when the two come together you get blood group a b so both gene A and gene B is expressing itself in the trait of the blood group. So in this case, uh, we are saying that they are equally dominant or both express themselves in the trait. Now, <clears throat> however, gene O is recessive gene o is recessive and can only express itself it can only express itself in the absence in the absence of either gene a or b so the only time that O expresses itself is when the A and B are absent. Otherwise, if A is present, we get blood group A, even when O is there. When B is present in the, uh, together with O, we get blood group B. So O can only express itself in the absence of either A and B. That's why we are saying that it's a recessive. It's a recessive gene. <coughs> we'll summarize that. As a table, so we have the blood group, then we have the blood group is the same as the phenotype, so the blood group is the phenotype in this case, then we have the genotype, then we have the antigens. So we have blood group A. The genotype can either be AA, that is where we have the two genes or the two alleles for blood group A, or AO, because O is always recessive in the, up, in the presence of A. So O cannot express itself here. So this person is blood group A heterozygous and A homozygous. So this person has antigen A. A person with blood group B, the genotype is BB or BO. Remember O is recessive. The antigens present B. A person with blood group AB, which is codominant, equally dominant, uh, the genotype is AB because there is the existence of both gene A and B. So the antigens A and B are present. So we have that uh, table, blood group O, that is phenotype O. Remember the phenotype is the blood group, as indicated. Uh, the genotype of O can only be OO. 
So where there is either A or B, we cannot have blood group O. And this one has no antigens. There is none of the antigens. So this is a summary of the ABO blood groups. Summary. So the next we'll have an exercise on that. So we have two questions there. And we are told that a person has blood group AB. Then you are told to name the antigens that are present in that blood group. And B, explain why the person is a universal recipient. Explain why the person is a universal recipient. Number two, distinguish between codominance that we have just learned and incomplete dominance learned earlier. So we are going to stop there. Until next time, goodbye.